Good morning, everyone. I want to call the Drainage District Board of Directors meeting to order. We'll start with a roll call to establish form. Good morning, David Fuentes, Precinct 1. Eddie County, Precinct 2. Everardo Villarreal, Precinct 3. Richard Cortez, County Judge, that constitutes a quorum. Mr. Sassin, can you please lead us in today's meeting? Certainly will. Judge, good morning, Judge Commissioners. Good morning, everyone. Let us have a word of prayer this morning. <clears throat> Father God, we continue to ask you to fill our cities, county, state, and national political leaders with wisdom, understanding, discernment, knowledge, forgiveness, faithfulness, humility, and dignity. We pray for our judge and court commission that you've appointed to lead this Rick County. We pray for our mayor, school board members, city council, police chiefs, district attorney, sheriff, judges, and all who serve our local communities. Grant them favor, increase their faith, and prepare them to pursue your excellence. Draw them to you and cause them to know and fulfill your purposes. Please place people in their paths that will provide scriptural, sound, and godly counsel, for without your counsel, their paths will go awry. Impart your wisdom and revelation to them about leadership and help them to lead. Deal with that leaders about keeping their hearts and motives pure. We ask you to make their hearts pliable, willing, and obedient to your will. Cause each other lives to glorify your name. Lord, we believe that you are our creator and redeemer and that you know all things. Though none of us sins are hidden from you, we know that you still love us unconditionally and are waiting for us to repent and turn to you so you can forgive us as, and wash us clean once more. As your word tells us in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive our sins and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Thank you for loving us infinitely. Lord, help us today to overcome our fallen nature and to put you first in our lives. Scripture reminds us the more we seek you, the more we will find you. May we continue to seek you in everything that we do, and we always work as is working for you. We ask this all in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Did anyone want to sign up for open forum? No, Judge, not for drainage. Okay. Next is the approval of the consent agenda. Yes, sir, Judge, on the consent agenda, approval of a check register, permits, general operations, everything has been vetted by our drainage district team. Uh, everything's in order. We do recommend approval. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Um, if I may, 5A1, request and approval to accept bids and award a construction contract to the lowest and most responsive bidder, Go Underground LLC, in the amount of $1,695,9.36 for the project Glasscock Road from Mile 4 Road to Mile 5 Road, Stormwater Management, RFP number ACDD1 23051 esz as recommended by Project Engineer JNR Engineering LLC, subject legal review and compliance, House Bill 1295. Motion all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Commissioner Real, when we have our, our, our pre-construction on that, we'll invite the city of Alton as part of that project that oh, yes. we're doing in that area, sir. So we'll make sure we're in communication with them so they can let the residents know that project is forthcoming for Do them. Do you know a date more or less? Um, once we get this uh, award to get the contracts and everything routed, hopefully uh, legal is pretty efficient in moving them forward. Maybe 30 days or so, we'll get all the signatures in place and schedule it or sooner. So we want to get that started already. So. Okay. We'll be in communication with your office on that, sir. Uh, item 2, pursuant to Texas Logan Code 262031B, requesting authority and approval for drains this general manager to execute change orders that involve an increase or decrease in cost of 50000 or less in no event to exceed change order statutory limits. The original contract price may not be decreased by 80% or more without the consent of the contractor. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item uh, 6A. Um, so is this going to be something I abstain from? Let me see, sir. Southwest Westaco. Um, yes, sir, you definitely. Yeah, I think just. Out of abundance of call. Yes, yeah, sir. I, I think you're okay, but I think legal said okay. But, yeah, we, we can definitely take take that abstention on there. 6A, requesting authority to advertise and approve RFP packet requirements, specifications, and plans for the project Southwest U.S. IBWC structure, 97L, Tierra Santa Golf Course, 2018 bond project number 35, RFP number ACDD 1-23056-1101 ESZ. Including the advertisement of the project in the event no response to receive and or rejecting the project is still required. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Just for the record. So, yes. So, Judge, could you please put uh, for the record that Commissioner Fuentes did abstain from any discussion and or action related to item 6A uh, under uh, uh, the 2018 bond referendum projects? Okay, let the record show that Commissioner Fuentes abstained from voting or, or discussing any of this uh, action item on, on 6A. Motion carries. 
Thank you, sir. 6B, request to approve change order number one for an increase in the amount of 98,914.71 cents in 90 additional construction calendar days in connection with the project construction of casting place reinforced concrete box 7 by 7 for Southwest West School 2010 Modern Project number 35. Contract number CAC 8123032808 with Morewell LLC as recommended project engineer Omar Azalua from my office. A, a commissioner on this one, an abstention as well. I mean, not, yeah. I think to Same. be conservative. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So moved. Taken. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Same thing. Let the record show the Commissioner Fuentes abstain from voting or any discussion on this matter. <clears throat> Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'll cover C1 through 3, request and approval of closing documents, parcel 23-7. As it relates to Project 23, the 2018 Drainage Bond Program, Mile 11 North, Texas Boulevard Project, and, and authority for Chairman of the Board, execute documents pending final review. C2, request and authority, excuse me, <clears throat> approval of closing documents for parcel 23-15. As it relates to Project 23, the 2018 Drainage Bond Program, Mile 11 North, Texas Boulevard Project, and authority for Chairman of the Board, execute documents pending final review. And C3, request and approval of closing documents for parcel 23-33. So it relates to Project 23 of 2018 Drainage Bond Program, Mile 11 North, the Texas Boulevard Project, and authority for the Chairman of the Board to execute documents pending final legal review. Motion to approve 6C, 1, 2, and 3. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. I'll cover D as well, 1, 2, and 3. Approval of application payment number 1 in the amount $124,801.76 for more McAllen Multi Service Pertaining Construction Contract, CACD 1, 2303 Rincon de Encinos Phase 3, Item 2, Approval Application Payment Number 8 in the amount of 66960 from Go Underground Pertaining Construction Contract, CCDD 1, 2019 Highway 281 FM 88. And Item 3, Approval Application Payment Number 2 in the amount of 201249 from Sign Brothers Construction Pertaining Construction Contract, CACDD 1, 2009R0404, South Lateral Drain Structure. Everything's in order. Recommend approval. 1, 2, 3. So motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. 7A, 1 and 2. Request and approve of final negotiated agreement for Retro Engineering Service with Javier Nijosa Engineering for the project West Main Drain 3 Extension Phase 3, 2023 Bond Repairment Project Number 14. Contract number CA City to 123 so 5710-03 as approved for negotiations on 9523, subject to final legal review. Um, and then item two, accepts an approval work in the amount of 123,171.22 as submitted by Javier Nijosa Engineering through contract number CACD1 21, excuse me, CACD1 23057103 to provide professional engineering service for West Main Drain 3 Extension Phase 3, 2023 bond for project number 14. So, if you finally review, just for the board, we have been, uh, since this is a lot of just the widening improvements, we got very uh, detailed in the, or I guess assertive in the negotiations uh, and uh, it's a fixed fee contract, correlates to about 7% fee of the construction cost. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much uh, across the board how we'll be managing this bond referendum unless there's some other additional service like H&H &H and things that are required, then we'll take that into consideration. But that's that's pretty much the, the theme of, of this uh, next bond issue and 7% correlated fee, which is a fixed fee. Ready to move? Yes, please. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We do have some real estate items. Okay, pursuant to uh, <clears throat> subchapter D of, of chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, we'll be retiring to go session to discuss items listed on code section 551.072, 551.074, yes. or possibly 551.71. I have a motion to do so. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I've got 938. Okay, we're back from a closed session. Do we have any action items? On item 9A, possible action of real estate acquisition, uh, action is required to authorize Mr. Sassine to proceed as discussed in the closed meeting. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I believe that's all our yes, agenda uh, items, but we have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. aye. Motion carries. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I would now like to call the Hidalgo County Commissioner's <laughs> Court meeting to order. We'll start with a roll call to establish a quorum. Eric County Precinct 2. Everardo Villarreal, Precinct 3. Richard Cortez, County Judge. That constitutes a quorum. 
Today we're honored to have uh, Rafael Soto. He worked for Precinct 2. He served in the U.S. Army in 1998. He was stationed at Fort Campbell. He was with the 101st EMOS Bravo Infantry. Mr. Soto, will you please listen to today's pledge? Yes, Your Honor. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir, and thank you for your service. Today we, we have Ms. Erica Reyna. She is our Human Resource Director that will lead us in today's prayer. Good morning. Let's bow our heads, please. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve those challenged by serious and chronic mental and emotional illnesses. Give your power of healing to those who minister to their needs, that they may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Erica. Next, we have the approval of the consent agenda. Yes, Judge Commissioners, with your permission, uh, I'd like to pull from consent agenda item 6A1 and 2. I make a motion to approve the rest of the consent. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. Uh, consent agenda item 6A1 and 2, for the record, Commission appointments will be abstaining from any discussion and or action. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Let the record show that Commissioner Fuentes abstain from any voting or discussion of this matter. Thank you. Next, we have one of our favorite parts of our meetings. We have the uh, proclamations and recognition of good things that happen. The first one is Down Syndrome Awareness uh, Month. Do you have... Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Yes. I think, I, Co Courtney, were you going to read it? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. awesome. I have Ms. Courtney Moore here who's going to be reading item 5A, Proclamation Declaring October 2023 Down Syndrome Awareness Month. Good morning, everyone. This is Jameson, and I apologize for my voice. Whereas each year, approximately 6,000 babies in the United States are born with Down syndrome. Though these newborns will experience many challenges, American innovation and research is helping these beautiful souls lead independent, full, and happy lives. And whereas every human life possesses immeasurable value and has fundamental moral worth, people with Down syndrome deserve to be fully included and actively participate in all aspects of society. And whereas Hidalgo County is inspired by the spirit and exuberant joy with which these treasured Americans live each day. People with Down syndrome should be defined by their own strengths, abilities, and inherent value. And whereas the month of October is an important opportunity for Hidalgo County to reaffirm its commitment to creating a society that better appreciates and respects the dignity of life in all of its beautiful and miraculous stages. Together, we can create an inclusive county, one where citizens with Down syndrome are embraced in schools, workplaces, and communities. One where discrimination can no longer cast a shadow of inequality. <laughs> Sorry. With appropriate resources and support groups, allowing people with Down syndrome to make decisions about their own lives and be heard on issues affecting their lives. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hereby declares the month of October 2023 as Down Syndrome Awareness Month and encourages community leaders and businesses to foster opportunities for persons with Down syndrome 
so that they are better able to participate in our community and pursue their dreams. I have a motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. Aye. The motion carries, and thank you very much. For your I just want to take a quick minute. My name is Deborah Tolmai, and I'm the current president of RGVDSA. But I want to introduce you to the folks that are here, just so you can know who's here. Celinda is on the end. Kerwin, can you say hi? <laughs> this is Viva. Um, this is Roman. Elias, Naitsa, and Sammy. And then you met Jameson. And then we have parents here. <laughs> uh, we have Belinda, Mary Jane, Zoila, Susanna, Gregorio, and Courtney, who you also just met. Um, I want you to know that the people here are, are working in Hidalgo County. Um, they are going to church in Hidalgo County. They are living really beautiful lives in Hidalgo County, and they're excited to be part of this community and recognized as such. And we appreciate very much all that uh, Hidalgo County does to support individuals with disabilities. Um, we have our step up for Down Center Awareness Walk coming up in a couple of weeks, and Roman just wanted to say something super quick about that. Hi, hi. Oh, shit. Hi, hi. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you fall, um, deep up, me. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> right, say it one more time. You fall deep up. Thank you for stepping up. We appreciate you all. Next we have our next we have our proclamation. 
declare in October the Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Hello again. My name is Kimberly Cruz. I'll be reading item 5B, proclamation declaring October 2023 as Domestic Violence Awareness Month on behalf of the District Criminal Attorney's Office. Whereas the crime of domestic violence violates an individual's privacy, dignity, security, and humanity due to systematic use of physical, emotional, sexual, psychological, and economic control. Domestic violence extends to the abuse of children and the elderly and whereas the problems of domestic violence are not confined to any group or groups of people, but cut across all economic, racial, and societal barriers, and are supported by societal indifferences. And whereas the impact of domestic violence is wide-ranging, directly affecting individuals and society as a whole, here in this community, throughout the United States, and in the world. And whereas the Hidalgo County Criminal District Attorney's Office and Hidalgo County Family Violence Task Force, in collaboration with other local groups and agencies, are working to educate the public about the resources available for victims of domestic violence. And whereas survivors of domestic violence themselves have been at the forefront of efforts to bring peace and equality to the home. Domestic violence can no longer be treated as a silent epidemic. Now therefore be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hereby declares the month of October 2023 as Domestic Violence Awareness Month and urges all citizens to actively participate in scheduled activities and programs to work towards eradicating domestic violence, improving victim safety, and holding perpetrators of domestic abuse accountable for their actions against individual victims and our society as a whole. Approved this third day of October 2023. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Again, thank you. So much. With us today, we have First Assistant DA Alex Benavides. Judge, Commissioners, good morning. good morning. My name is Alex Benavides, the First Assistant DA, and on behalf of the District Attorney, Terry Palacios, I would like to thank you all for your support this morning. And I would like to thank everybody who is here this morning for your support. The purpose of this month, National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, is to start and to continue a conversation about this important issue of domestic violence and how those impacted by domestic violence are affected and how it affects their, their households, how it affects the individuals, and how it affects our community, our very own community here in Hidalgo County. But the other purpose of National Domestic Violence Awareness Month is to let those impacted by domestic violence know that they're not alone and to know that they have a voice because unfortunately many times those impacted by domestic violence feel that they cannot speak up. However, when I look around this room and I'm surrounded by a sea of purple, which is purple for Domestic Violence Awareness Month, not for the Panthers, Commissioner Fuentes. <laughs> I'm here so. supporting you guys. <laughs> But I see a sea of purple and I see blue from our brothers and sister in law enforcement. And I am optimistic, very optimistic that not only this month, but throughout the rest of the year, uh, those impacted by domestic violence will always have a voice, whether it's through their own voice or through one of us in this room. And they will never be alone and that they will always be heard. So we thank you all and we thank everyone here in this room for your support. And please continue the conversation. Thank you very much. And next we have uh, Estela de Anda from Mujeres Unidas. Good morning, everyone. It's really great to see so many people here supporting Domestic Violence Awareness Month. In the beginning, when we first started, we had law enforcement that supported our cause. Uh, the, the district attorney has always been supportive of working with victims, and they have a large group of uh, victim advocates that they work with, and we want to thank them. They're doing a great job. Uh, 
Mujeres Unidas recently celebrated uh, 45 years of service to the community. In, in that work that we do, we have many uh, people that are involved with us. Um, all the commissioners support our cause. Uh, we have the county judge, of course, that has always been sub supportive. And I want to thank you personally, thank you. Uh, Judge, for the great work you did during the pandemic as our leader in our county. I, I had a lot of help, believe me. <laughs> So uh, in October, on October the 12th, we will be uh, having a candlelight vigil. Every year we hold a vigil to remember those people that have died as a result of domestic violence. Unfortunately, this year from October to October, there has been seven people that have died as a result of domestic violence. There were six women and one male. We want to remember them so that people in the community will understand that domestic violence is not just a family dispute, but sometimes often leads to tragedies like death. And so we want to remember those people. During the vigil, we also celebrate the survivors of domestic violence, all the ones that were able to get away from the abuse and survive, seeking help from the district attorney's office, from us and other organizations in the community. And they're able to go to the police. In the past, when we first started, it was more difficult to get them to go to the police. Now they go to the police because they know that they will get help. And so this year, so far from January to August, we've had, and these numbers uh, are, are low numbers. We're after the pandemic for a long, long time. Uh, we never closed our offices during the pandemic, but people were hesitant to come during the pandemic. And so our numbers are going up. And so from January to August, we've had 103 women in our shelter. We've had two males, two adult males, and 134 children. So these are all people that have had to flee their home as a result of violence. And so again, I want to thank y'all, all, all the commissioners, your county judge, law enforcement, of course, our district attorney's office that works closely with us, the Hidalgo County Family Violence Task Force. Thank you for helping us do our work. Thank you. Judge Commissioners, I know that we're taking a bit longer, but I would like for Chief uh, uh, Torres from Mission PD to say briefly uh, some words and, and uh, invite everyone to our event tonight. Thank you, Rosie. Good morning, County Judge, Commissioners. Uh, what an honor to be here and say a few words before you. Uh, on behalf of the City of Mission, uh, thank you. Uh, domestic violence continues to be pro a problem within our communities. And this does not only affect the Rio Grande Valley, but also uh, the whole world. Uh, we have a message for victims of domestic violence that we will support you uh, during and after uh, your event. We want you to know that there's programs in place that will support every victim of a crime. We also have a message for the perpetrators that we will identify you, we will find you, and we will take you into custody if you continue this behavior. We shall protect our victims of violence at all costs. I'd like to thank law enforcement uh, for their efforts every day to combat uh, family violence, their prosecutors. Uh, Alex, back here behind me, our crime victims, liaisons, uh, Rosie, and your team, thank you. Cannot thank you all enough. And I get goosebumps because without you all, it, never, it doesn't happen. We will continue to stand together to combat domestic violence. We keep seeing it again and again in 33 years of business. I see it again and again, and we need to put an end to it. Today, the City of Mission and the District Attorney's Office will have an event at the Mission Event Center at 6 o'clock for domestic violence. We encourage everyone to attend. Thank you all. God bless you all. Thank you.
That's good. That's fine. We got everybody. That's fine. Everybody, please look forward. Smile, please, on the count of three. One, two, and three. Got it. Okay, we have another proclamation, recognizing Mental Illness Awareness Week. Uh, whereas mental health is an emotional, is an essential component of one's overall health. It is crucial to maintain good health and understand the signs of mental illness to know when it is necessary to seek help. And whereas millions of Americans confront the challenges of living with mental illness every year. Mental illness can affect individuals directly or indirectly, impacting not only those who experience them firsthand, but also their families, friends, and colleagues. And whereas early de detection and treatment can play a pivotal role in effectively managing mental illness and recovery. Each one of us can also make a difference in destigmatizing the topic of mental illness, which can then help motivate individuals to seek help. And whereas to shine a light on mental illnesses, Mental Illness Awareness Week, an annual public education campaign led by the National Alliance on Mental Illness, is observed the first week of October. This year, Mental Illness Awareness Week begins on Sunday, October 1, 2023, through Saturday, October 7, 2023. This Awareness Week also coincides with World Mental Health Day on Tuesday, October 10, 2023, and whereas the purpose of these recognized dates is to increase public knowledge of mental illnesses, fight discrimination, and provide support through online resources and civic activities. And whereas the Hidalgo County Mental Health Coalition would like to highlight the Mental Health Wellness Initiative and the Resource Guide for Mental Wellness that provide counseling, substance use, education, and hotline crisis resources, which are available to all Hidalgo County constituents and can be found online by visiting www.hidalgocounty.us forward slash HCMHC. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hereby declares Sunday, October 1, 2023, through Saturday, October 7, 2023, 
as Mental Health Awareness Week and Tuesday, October 10, 2023 as World Mental Health Day in Hidalgo County to educate the public and eliminate stigma on the topic of mental illness as well as provide support to those living with a mental illness. Approve this third day of October 2023. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much for your support. With us today, the Mental Health Coalition co-chair, Ms. Chris Artis. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much, Judge and Commissioners, for your continued commitment to mental health. And thank you to these representatives from across Hidalgo County that provide um, mental health services to people in our community. Um, I need to share with you the um, resource guide that was just on display. The third edition of that resource guide will be coming out within the next two weeks and will be distributed throughout Hidalgo County. Um, we, we're real excited today to let you know that we have two new youth advisory members for the coalition. They are Isa uh, Mendoza. She is a senior at Robert Vela High School. She is the student council president there. She's currently working on her associate's degree in interdisciplinary studies through South Texas College. Um, she's also extremely involved in all kinds of activities at school. And she will say a real quick word in a minute. Then we also have Sofia Munoz, who's a junior at McAllen High School. And Sofia is um, also honor student, very involved, as well as being a talented artist and writer and a golfer. Good morning, Judge and County Commissioners. I'd like to personally thank you on behalf of ECISD for giving me this opportunity, and I'm very, very much looking forward to learning how we can maintain mental health, students' mental health district-wide. Thank you. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Sophia, and I'm so honored to be speaking in front of you all here today. I'm very passionate on speaking about mental health awareness and reducing the stigma amount around mental health. Um, I first started for me throughout my own journey with mental health, where I vowed to myself that I would use my voice to then speak out against the stigma. And thank you guys so much, um, County Judge and Commissioners, for allowing me the opportunity to do so and to fulfill my mission. Also, for helping um, give the voice to people who feel the need to silently suffer. So thank you. Thank you. Mike, what are you doing with all these beautiful women around you? <laughs> I've got good taste, sir. <laughs> okay, next we have a proclamation. 
declared October 20, 23rd Manufacturing Month. Item 5D, proclamation declaring October 2023 Manufacturing Month. Whereas for generations, manufacturing has played a critical role in Texas's diverse economy. Texas is home to over 24,000 manufacturing firms, 359 of which are located in Hidalgo County. And whereas manufacturing in Texas constitutes over 13% of the total output in the state, totaling $254.5 billion in exports of manufactured goods in 2021. And whereas manufacturers in Texas employ 6.8% of the workforce, an estimated 960,000 manufacturing employees, including 7,400 in Hidalgo County. And whereas manufacturers pay millions of dollars annually supporting schools, law enforcement, emergency preparedness, public works, and other essential services. Manufacturing jobs enable Texas families to realize the dream of owning a home, sending a child to college, and enjoying a secure retirement with an average weekly wage in Hidalgo County of $985. And whereas National Manufacturing Day is held annually on the first Friday in October, and the month of October is annually celebrated as National Manufacturing Month. And whereas residents are encouraged to support the work of manufacturing companies by purchasing products manufactured in Hidalgo County and in the United States of America, and whereas to celebrate Manufacturing Month, entities across Hidalgo County, including the South Texas Manufacturers Association, Workforce Solutions, manufacturing companies, cities, economic development corporations, colleges, school districts, and others in relevant fields are partnering to host various events to showcase modern manufacturing technology and careers. Now therefore be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hereby declare October 2023 as Manufacturing Month in Hidalgo County and recognizes the valuable contributions that manufacturing companies and their employees provide to our communities. Approved this third day of October 2023. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. With us today, Mike Willis, the Executive Director of South Texas Manufacturers Association. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you, Judge and Commissioners. Um, we thank you all for your continued support uh, to recognize Manufacturing Day and we, Manufacturing Month in Hidalgo County. This is the sixth year we've done this, and uh, we took two years off for COVID, like, like a lot of other people, but we're back in the saddle again. Um, I'm joined by Mario Liscano, a PEDC board member, Nidia Manzaraf, who's their foundation director, Lilveth Santos, their economic development business director, economic business development manager, um, Karina Lopez, economic development manager, and I have Belinda Vargas with the Far San Juan Alamo School District. That she's their career and technology uh, community, uh, business and community CTE coordinator. We couldn't develop the, the workforce that we need without the support of the colleges and the school district's CTE programs. So STMA is a regional manufacturers trade association. We have around 100 manufacturing companies and 56 other organizations in our membership from other sectors whose businesses benefit from a strong manufacturing sector. We've always collaborated with the education community, the colleges, universities, the economic development corporations, school districts, and the workforce board to pursue our top two priorities as an organization, which mirror the goal of National Manufacturing Day to increase awareness of manufacturing and promote manufacturing careers and to help develop talent pipelines to use education and workforce initiatives to help ensure we have a trained workforce to support the companies we have and the companies we hope to bring to the region. Um, in support of Manufacturing Day and Manufacturing Month, this Friday on Manufacturing Day, South Texas College is having over 180 High school students enrolled, co-enrolled in the Advanced Manufacturing Technology Associate Degree Program from six school districts uh, for a program in the morning and then manufacturing plant tours in the afternoon. Uh, FAR EDC and PSJ School District are partnering on Wednesday the 11th of October with an assembly that will have speakers to talk about manufacturing careers and then the students will again take tours of manufacturing sites. So there's a lot to look forward to. Um, I won't get in, into the weeds too much, but the manufacturing industry's growth has been a priority for the last two administrations. With the recent passage of the CHIPS Act and the Infra Inflation Reduction Act, we have hundreds of billions of dollars of new commitment and in capital investments from companies from all over the world in the United States to build 
uh, semiconductor plants, battery plants, um, electric car plants, and a lot of related technology over the next 10 to 15 years. It's going to take a heck of a workforce. Tesla employs 20,000 people in Austin right now. They've hired over 8,000 people this year. So there's a lot of competition for labor, and it's critically important that we continue to develop and support our industry and encourage careers in manufacturing. So thanks again for your uh, continued support. Okay, next we have open forum. Yes, thank you, Judge Commissioners. Uh, we do have uh, participants under public forum. We have uh, four participants. Our first participant is Ms. Alma Garza. Alma Garza. Okay. Second presenter is Ms. Fern McClarity. And Judge Commissioners, and for the uh, public, uh, I'd like to um, remind the public that they're always welcome to participate in public forum. They need to be familiar with the rules of decorum, which prohibit direct and indirect personal attacks on members of the court or any county individual individuals. The comments made should also pertain to county business and cannot be threatening in nature. Ms. McClary, there is a three-minute time limit, and I will advise when there is one minute. I will start when you start. Gentlemen, I was uh, reading through the comments made by the county judge at his perspective prosperity tax force uh, presentation. I think I've found something significant that we can agree on and that can serve as a basis for working together. There is no question that the degree of poverty in Hidalgo County is significant and that it can be found in every segment of our community. For those of us who live here, it is not necessary to go through a list of examples of its present and its impact on the people. As the judge stated, poverty has been with us for decades and it seems to be growing. Can we say that there is more poverty now than in the past? Well, there are more people now than in the past and more of them cannot keep pace with the cost of living created by our local governments. The issue of poverty has been effectively addressed, ineffectively addressed because it is not in the best interest of elected officials. As an example, name one community that has a plan for reducing poverty. The Valley has traditionally been a labor pool of low-wage workers, and our <clears throat> closeness to Mexico has enhanced this idea. Our open border policy has enhanced this issue and made salary increases difficult. Poverty can be defined as not having sufficient money to obtain food, shelter, or medical services. In Hidalgo County, there are more people on social programs than in the private sector. Where I disagree with the judge is concerning a solution. It is not difficult, you just take a few minutes. What agency, group, organization has traditionally created the jobs for the U.S.? Small businesses. And what our elected officials are doing to small businesses increasing their property taxes. Instead of supporting small businesses, our local government are creating businesses supporting with public funds. 
They are creating public co uh, companies to provide solid waste, um, ambulance service, transportation. These companies do not pay taxes, add to the public debt, and to create increased. We know uh, shortly HEB is paying $19 an hour for full-time order selectors. Mentoring is not a serious strategy for addressing poverty. Lowering the tax rate from 57.5 cents would have been a good start because this tax rate increased uh, the budget by $27,308,601. This means that more people are going to continue losing their homes because they cannot pay the taxes. Uh, my thing was you had an opportunity up there to take it from 57 Point, uh, point fifty seven five down two three four whatever to fifty one point uh, point fifty one forty two but y'all couldn't do it and this uh, task force should be the first thing you look at thank you thank you ma'am next presenter is Yvette Cavazos Yvette Cavazos and then we have uh, Commissioner Fuentes. Yes, thank you. I just wanted to remind everybody that uh, this Saturday we'll be doing the breast cancer awareness walk there at the city of Westlaco uh, parking lot, weather permitting. Obviously, we're expecting a little bit of rain, thank God, but hopefully it'll stay away for an hour or so while we do this walk. So just wanted to remind the community we sent out a press release yesterday. We hope you guys can join us. Everyone is welcome. No fee, no registration, just show up. Thank you. Thank you. Is that it, Bonde? Yes, sir. I want to move to item 15A, Head Start Program, so we can get Ms. Pena back to work. <laughs> thank you, Commissioners, and thank you, County Judge. Uh, we do have one item for your consideration. We are requesting your appointment of, a one, of one community representative by each member of the Commissioner's Court to serve on the Hidalgo County Head Start Policy Council for a one-year term according to 45 CFR 13013D3, beginning in October 2023 to October 2024. I have an appointment already. I want to appoint Sandra Lisa Martinez as my appointee to your board. And I think I've already passed her information to you. Yes, sir. I don't have anyone yet. Uh, I'm going to continue with my representative. I'm going to continue with my representative. Okay, we'll try to get you the other two quickly. Thank you, sir. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Thank you. I have a motion to accept the nominations by all of us. Motion made to accept. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, we'll go back to uh, item 7A. You want all this is is a resident of Puerto Domingo that by his desire to apply for a grant fund. This is basically to be able to home deliver milk. So we'll Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Item 8A. This, oh, oh, excuse me. An authorization for Richard F. Cortez to sign the resolution. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Aye. Item 8A. This Good morning, office. Judge Commissioners Rosalinda Cantu presenting for the District Attorney's Office. Item 8A, the DA's Border Prosecution Grant. We're asking for approval to accept the Region 3 Border Prosecution Unit Grant in the amount of $1,878,718, effective September 1st, 2023 through uh, August 31st, 2025. We're also asking for approval of the certification of revenues as certified by the County Auditor's Office for the fiscal year 2024 region, uh, region three border prosecution unit grant funds in the amount of $1,878,708 and appropriation of the same. So motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 8B, the forensic evidence testing grant fund 1281. We're asking for approval to accept the grant award in relation to the fiscal year 2024 forensic evidence testing grant in the amount of 100,000 from the Office of the Governor Criminal Justice Division for the period of September 1st, 2023, 2023 through August 31st, 2024 with authority for county judge as authorized official to accept the award electronically. We're also asking for approval of the certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor 
for the fiscal year 2024 forensic evidence testing grant in the amount of $100,000 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item 8C, the DA Domestic Violence Unit Grant from 1281. We're asking for approval to continue the payment of salaries for all employees currently being paid by the Domestic Violence Grant pending the award of the fiscal year 2022 grant. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 8D, the, vic the DA Victims Assistance uh, Program Grant. We're asking for approval to continue the payment of salaries for all employees currently being paid by the Victim Assistance Program Grant pending award of fiscal year 2022. Motion, motion approved. approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Item 9A, Sheriff's Office. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Commissioners. Captain Stephen Cortez presenting on behalf of Sher Sheriff Eddie Guerra. Item 9A that has two items uh, on the agenda. With your permission, I'll read both of them. Number one, pursuant to, pursuant to Texas Local Government Code, subchapter sub D263.151 A and or B, declaration of asset number 76548, issued firearm, as further detailed in the supporting documentation contained herein, as surplus for the purpose as permitted by the Government Code 614A2, pursuant to the Government Code Section 614, 614, permitting a peace officer retiring from the government, governmental entity to purchase their assigned firearm, requesting that Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court approve the value of Lieutenant Marcus Mendez's issued firearm at the fixed asset value with supporting documentation attached at $107.25. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 9B, Sheriff's Office Fiscal Year 2022 General Victim Assistance Grant, the VOCA Grant, 1284. Uh, subsection 1, authorization and approval to accept the General Victims Assistance Grant, the VOCA, grant number 4218503 in the amount of $77,101.25, effective on October the 1st, 2023 through 930, 2024. Received from the Office of the Governor, Criminal Justice Division, uh, OOG CG, CJD with authority for county judge as authorized official to electronically sign the grant award form and related documents. 9B2, approval of the certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the general victim assistance grant, VOCA, and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 9C. Fiscal year 2023 JAG program, 1282. Subsection one, approval to accept the fiscal year 2023 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant JAG award from the U.S. Department of Justice Office of Justice Programs, DOJ, OJP, in the amount of $42,672 for the period of October the 1st, 2022 to September the 30th, 2026, with authority for county judges authorized official to sign required documents. Item 9C2. Approval of certification of revenues as certified by the County Auditor for fiscal year 2023 JAG grant in the amount of $42,672 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, the Sheriff's Office NCIC Tech Grant 1284. Approval to rescind action taken on uh, Action item 92-631 on 9-26-2023 related to the NCIC Tech Grant Certification of Revenues. Uh, D2, approval of partial certification of revenues as certified by the County Auditor and appropriation of funds for the NCIC Tech Grant in the amount of $145,750 from the total award amount of $210,000. So Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Item 9E. Sheriff's Office Rifle Resistance Body Armor Grant 1284, uh, subsection one, authorization and approval to accept a grant award from the Office of the Governor, Criminal Justice Grant Division in relation to the rifle resistant body armor. Uh, fiscal year 2024 grant, that's September the 1st, 2023 through August the 31st of 2024, in the amount of $310,000, $310,800, $310,800. With authority of county judges authorized official to accept the award electronically, 
Subsection 2, approval of certification of revenues as certified by the County Auditor for fiscal year 2024 of the RRBA in the amount of $310,800 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 9F. Sheriff's Office Local Border Security Program, that's the LBSP grant, 1284. Subsection 1, authorization and approval to accept grant award from the Office of the Governor, Homeland Security Grant Division in relation to the LBSP fiscal year 2024 grant from September the 1st, 2023 through August the 31st of 2024 in the amount of $233,000 with the authority of the county judge as authorized official to accept the award electronically. Subsection 2, authorization to pay overtime reimbursable under the grant terms and conditions. And subsection 3, approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the fiscal year 2024 LBSP in the amount of 233,000 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you very much. Item 10A, Constable Precinct 1. Yes, good morning, Judge and Commissioner Sergeant Jorge Salazar for Constable Celestino Avila. Uh, 10A, discussion and consideration to appoint and approval to appoint Justo Garcia as Reserve Deputy Constable by Constable Celestino Avila Jr. Constable Precinct 1 in accordance with the Texas Local Government Code Section 86.012. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. 10B, approval of uh, interlocal co uh, corporation, cooperation agreement between Hidalgo County Texas acting by and through the Hidalgo County Constable's Precinct 1 and Texas A&M University Kingsville acting by and through its police department in relation to security services with authority for a county judge as authorized official to execute agreement, authorization and approval to pay overtime reimbursement under the agreement terms and conditions, and approval to certify revenues by county auditor and appropriation of same. Motion to approve 10B123. Check it. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, 10C, authorization and approval to accept grant award in relation to the fiscal year 2024 local border security program in the amount of 35,000 from the office of the governor, Homeland Security Grants Division for the period of September the 1st, 2023 through August 31st, 2024 with authority for county judge as authorized official to accept award electronically, authorization to pay overtime reimburse, reimbursable under this grant terms and conditions, approval to certify uh, Certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for fiscal year 2024 local border security program grant in the amount of $35,000 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve 10 C123. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very Thank you. much. Item 11A, Constable Precinct 2. Judge Grocers, with your permission, I'll be presenting for Constable Precinct 2, Constable Cantu. Uh, this is on his uh, Precinct 2 2022 TTBH Justice Involved Individuals Grant. That's Fund 1285. It's requesting authorization to reclassify overtime expenditures into Constable Precinct 2 General Fund account in the amount of $3,104.11. And this is in order to close out uh, the grant. So moved. Check it. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item 11B is their 2024 Local Border Security Program Fund 1284. Uh, it's authorization approval to accept grant award uh, in relation to the fiscal year 2024 local border security program in the amount of $35,000 from the Office of the Governor Homeland Security Grants Division for the period of September 1st, 2023 to August 31st, 2024 with authority of the county judge as authorized official to accept award electronically and authorization to pay overtime reimbursable under the grant terms and conditions and approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for fiscal year 2024 local board security program grant in the amount of $35,000 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Check it. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item 12A, Constable Precinct 4. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Uh, Constable Gaitan here. Uh, 12A, A1-92626. I wish not to take uh, no action on this uh, agenda item, Judge. <laughs> Thank you. Next slide. Uh, 12B, A192733, Constable Precinct 4, Fiscal Year 2024 Local Border Security Program, LBSP. One, authorization and approval to accept grant award in relation to the Fiscal Year 2024 Local Border Security Program, LBSP, in the amount of 73000 from the Office of the Governor Homeland Security Grant Division for the period of September 1st, 2023, to August 31st, 2024, 
with authority for county judge as authorized official to accept award electronically. Uh, B2, authorization to pay overtime reimbursement under the grant terms and conditions. B3, approval of certification of revenues as certified by uh, a county auditor uh, for fiscal year 2024 local border security program LBSP grant in the amount of 73,000 and appropriation of the same. And judge commissioners for the record, that was a correction with respect to the grant period. Uh, to August 31st, 2024. That is correct. Thank you, Constable. Thank you. Thank you, Judge Commissioner. We have a mo motion. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Constable. Item 13A, Human Resources. Ms. Lena. Good morning again, Judge Commissioners. Erika Reina for the Department of Human Resources. Item 13A, I'm requesting a waiver of the following if applicable for the personnel items listed. I need action on item number three, the budget amendment policy, personnel related amendments. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And Judge Thank Commissioners, you. Ms. Ms. Reina, Judge Commissioners, for the record, we do have a public participation for form from Ms. Firma Clarity on item 13B. Yes, ma'am. Well, it just, <clears throat> I got a call from some people and they wanted to know, has the county ever thought about collaborating with other entities to get a better deal for all the employees? I don't know if it's ever been thought of. We've discussed that in the past and actually uh, other entities have, have partnered with us because of our size. So it's, it's advantageous for the other entities that are smaller to partner with us. So you are open for that? Yeah, it, it, but it, it must be mutually beneficial. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Item 13B, discussion, consideration, and action to set health insurance plan premiums for calendar year 2024, Judge Commissioners. This is in accordance with what was adopted in the fiscal year 2024 budget. I do recommend approval. Motion so, to approve. Second. Was there a second? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 13C for County Court at Law Number 8, approve the following actions effective upon Commissioner's Court approval, requesting to delete and remove the interpreter allowance from slot 0004 of bailiff at a grade 10 with an allowance in the amount of $3,000, and to create and add interpreter allowance to slot 0010 of bailiff 1 for County Court at Laws, grade 11 with an allowance of $6,000, this bailiff has met the requirements for a county uh, court at law bailiffs. I do recommend approval of this item. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank Ur you. Urban County, Mr. De La Garza. Yes, good morning, Judge. Good morning, Commissioner. Steve De La Garza for Urban County, 14A. Subject to compliance with HB 1295, the Urban County Program is requesting consideration and action to award and enter into con construction contract with Science Brothers Construction, the lowest responsible bidder in the amount of $3,986,172.86, utilizing funds awarded from Hidalgo County by the Texas General Land Office under contract number 22-082-005-D200 for the 2016 State Mitigation Competition Phase 2 Segment C project. Judge, before we make a motion on this, I just want to take a minute to thank the General Land Office. They're in their award for the 2015 and 2016 mitigation um, provided our area for almost close to $20 million of drainage improvements through a grant, uh, which we will not have to pay back. Um, so I'd like to thank them and Housing and Urban Development for recognizing that the need in this area and for the, the award uh, that is going to help along the main drain uh, on the northern part of Hidalgo County. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The commissioner will be here today and tomorrow. Yes. Yes, Commissioner Buckingham. So we'd like to thank Commissioner Don Buckingham for her support. Okay, next item. Thank you. 14B. Subject to compliance with HB 1295, the Urban County Program is requesting approval of the best and final negotiated contract for professional engineering services with Javier Hinojosa Engineering in the amount of $50,720, utilizing CDBG FY31, 33, 34, 35, and 36, Hidalgo Flood Drainage Improvements Funding, and approval of work authorization number one. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. 
Thank you, Mr. Dalgarza. Item 16A, Elections Department, Ms. Salinas. Hello, good morning, Judge Commissioners. This is Alberto Gauna, a Division Manager, here to present on the behalf of Ms. Salinas, who is currently taking part of the logic and accuracy test of the uh, voting equipment. Um, so up first for agenda item 92658, discussion on election updates. Uh, just a reminder to the public that we are approaching the last day to register to vote for the November 7th, 2023 special constitutional election, and that is uh, next Tuesday, October the 10th. Our office will be extending our hours until 7 p.m. to assist anybody who wants to make any changes or first time uh, register to vote. The sample ballots for the upcoming election are already up on our website. Um, you can go on there and find pretty much what you will be voting on for this upcoming election. Later this week, we will be updating the website with our sample lookup tool, so it'll be a little bit easier to find that ballot for the voters. Um, we will be having 29 polling locations for early voting and 40 on election day. Again, those schedules can be found on our website uh, along with any other information uh, that you may need. Are there any questions regarding that? Okay. So item two is approval of the November 7, 2023 constitutional amendment election and local entities election services contract between Hidalgo County and the following entities. Uh, the McAllen Independent School District, PSJ Independent School District, the City of Donna, the City of Palmview, and we recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Item Thank you. 17, Planning Department, Mr. Rodesti. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Uh, item 17A, uh, requesting approval to rescind action on consent agenda 908531H as approved by Commissioner's Court on 5-16-23. Staff recommends approval. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, and the next item, item A2, this is a pipeline and utility permit for said item number one. Uh, it's an update of contractor for, for uh, GST construction. Uh, staff recommends approval. Move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thanks, Thank sir. you, Judge. Item 18A, Precinct 1, Commissioner Fuentes. Thank you, Thank you, Judge. Requesting approval, I'm sorry, item A, requesting approval to accept the counter offer to purchase a tract of land known as parcel number 40 associated with the Mile 6 West Road Improvement Project with authority for the county judge to sign the administration, evaluation, and approval form. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item B, authorization and approval to rename County Road 1595 to DLID River Road for 911 purposes as recommended by the Rio Grande Valley Emergency uh, District 911 Department. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 19A, Commissioner Cantrum. Uh, requesting approval to accept counter offer to purchase tract of land known as Parcel 9 associated with the Precinct 2 Sessa Chavez Road project for Business 83 to Ridge Road with authority for the county judge to sign the administrative evaluation and approval form. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 20A, Commissioner Villarreal. Requesting authorization to name a road located uh, 1400 LF west of Ojo de Agua Street and 284 LF south of Chihuahua Road and runs through parcel IDs 222218, 222217, 222213, and ends at parcel ID 222210 in the Los Ejidos de Reynosa subdivision as Los Ejidos Street. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 21A, Commissioner Torres. Good morning, Dr. Colbertson, representing Commissioner Torres for Precinct 4. Agenda item 92730, Precinct 4 UT Health SNAPED program, requesting the ratification and approval to continue the payment of salaries for two Hidalgo County health workers currently being paid with fiscal year 2023 grant funds to start payment of salaries out of the fiscal year of 2024 grant funds after approval of the final revised draft ICA with UT Health SNAPED program commencing October 1st, 2023 through September 23. September 30th, 2024. So, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Item 22A, Budget and Management, Mr. Soto. Yes, uh, Judge Commissioners. 
Um, item 22A, acceptance and approval of the Texas Juvenile Justice System Judge Department salary adjustments effective September 1st, 2023, as per House Bill number one. You need a motion? Yes, sir. Yes. Motion to approve? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Motion carries. Okay, uh, 22B. Approval of certification of revenues by a county auditor in the amount of $36,740.89 in relation to labor reimbursement received from drainage district number one for the Raymondville drainage project and appropriation of same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. 22C2. Uh, approval to deobligate cash, cash batch funds and appropriate into countywide uh, admin contingency in the amount of $28,384 in relation to the TB prevention and control grant due to the contract being shortened by four months. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 20, 23, you. purchases of the department. Mr. Mescuda. Good morning, George Commissioners. Mr. Guerra, for the record, Ignacio Mesco from the Purchasing Department 23A. One, requesting a section for competitive bidding requirements on the Texas Local Government Code 262.024A7A, an item that can be obtained from only one source, item from which competition is precluded because of the system of patents, copyrights, secret processes, or monopolies. And Judge Commissioners, for the record, that was a correction as well under 23A, uh, 262.024A7A. Motion, motion. motion of approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Two, acceptance and approval of the assault sort declaration for, for vendor asset systems for the purchase of an annual asset management software subscription for the fixed asset division. I recommend to approve. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Three, ratification of issuance of purchase order number 869113 dated on September 6, 2023. For the purchase of the annual subscription for renewal from asset system, I recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23B for Hidalgo County. 1A requesting a section from competitive bidding requirements on the Texas Local Pro Government Code 262.024A4, a personal professional service. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. B, presentation of scoring grid for the purpose of ranking by Hidalgo County Commission score of firms graded through the county's pool of pre-qualified professional architectural services to provide Americans with Disabilities Act surveying and other required services for Hidalgo County Public Facility Survey and Maintenance Services. Roy, do you wish to rank in the order of their scores? Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. C, requesting authority for the Hidalgo County Purchasing Department to negotiate a professional architectural service agreement commencing with the number one round firm, Milnet Architectural Services, to provide American and dis with Disabilities Act surveying and other required services for the Hidalgo County Public Facility Survey and maintenance services projects. I recommend to approve. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Two, requesting acceptance and approval of the sole qualified and final negotiator offer meeting or requirement for a letter or engagement between Hidalgo County and BLX Group for arbitrage calculation services. I recommend to approve. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. 23C for County Judge's Office. One, acceptance and approval of amendment number one to the consulting service agreement for county planning and economic development between Hidalgo County and MRP Consulting Services to include travel reimbursement clause with authority for the county judge to sign a required document. So I recommend to approve. Judge, commissioners, for the record, we do have a public participation form from Ms. Fern McClarity on item 23C1. <clears throat> yes, well, I had a question because I thought we had already done this once before because I had questioned back then was that we're, we're paying uh, $6,000 a month for a consultant that will do 40 hours a month. And then if when y'all sign the contract today, they get 5,000 more. So at $77,000 a month for 40, 
uh, consulting hours per month. Is that correct? And did, did, didn't y'all do this a few months ago? Mr. Mesqua? Yes, well, on this one, the only thing that we're including we have is to respond? clause. Excuse me? Okay. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes. No, I was, once again, uh, on this agenda item, we're just including the travel reimbursement clause. Uh, that is correct. We took this agenda for recommending this uh, MRP consultant services in a previous agenda item, but at this time, we just are including the travel reimbursement clause. And the trial reimbursement, if it exceeds 200 miles, so it's not a every day. Motion, Motion to approve. <coughs> Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Yes. 23D for precinct three, one requesting approval of work authorization number two with an estimate cost of $78,753 with 67 cents as submitted by B2C Engineering through Hidalgo County's Professional Engineering Service Agreement to provide construction material testing service for El Paraiso Health Clinic Improvement Projects and El Paraiso Community Resource Centers with authority for County George and Commissioner Prison Number 3 to sign or require documentation. So, recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23 for Prison 4 1 requesting approval to award job order contract to Reno Walls through Hidalgo County membership with tips. For the precinct number four office renovation project in the amount of $81,478, with authority to issue a notice to proceed upon receipt of the required payment bond. I recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. 23A for Health and Human Service Department. One requesting approval of Amendment 6 to Nextmark Technologies Master Agreement to include the application manage, manage services that will enable the reconfiguration and setup of the financial and billing components for the electronic medical record system to comply with the reporting requirement for the Texas Department of State's Health Services and the Hidalgo County Auditor's Office with authority for the county judge to sign any and all required documents. I recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23G for District Clerk 1A requesting approval to terminate the software as a service agreement between Hidalgo County District Clerks and Tyler Technologies to be replaced with a new Tyler Tech SAS agreement. I recommend to approve. Motion Second. to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. B requesting approval to enter into a software as a service agreement between Hidalgo County District Clerks and Tyler Technologies under the source well COP first annual fee of 78000 and a total of and a recurring cost of $99,030 with authority for a county judge to sign all the required documents. Motion to Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. 23 H for WIC Department 1A requesting a section from competitive bidding requirement pursuant to Texas Local Recommendment Code 262.024A78. Item for which competition is precluded because of the existence of patents, copyright, secret process, or monopolies. And Judge Commissioners, for the record, that was a correction under Texas Local Government Code 262024, A78. A motion? Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. B. Acceptance and approval of the sole source declaration for the HOMO queue to be utilized by Hidalgo County WIC Department with said declaration to remain in effect while the declaration is in place or until revoked by Hidalgo County Commission score. I recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. C. Requesting approval to accept the donation of 200 HB301 qubits from South Plains Community Action with approval for county judge to sign any and all required documents. I recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23I for Cherry's Office 1A requesting approval of the following change directives in connection with the renovations and repairs to the least Willisie County Detention Facility project from the contract vendor Noble Texas Builders. Description change directive number four in a total amount of $65,203, change directive number nine in the total amount of $98,700, and change directive number 10 in a total amount of $92,150. I recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. 
All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Be requesting authority for the Algo County Sheriff's designee or the county judge to sign all required documentation. Recommend approval. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. To request an approval to purchase one row of terrain scissor relief through Hidalgo County's membership with Omnia Partners Cooperative, awarded vendor WW Granger in the amount of $65,169 with 15 cents. Recommend approval. Judge Commissioners, we do have a public participation form from Ms. Firm McClary on agenda item 23I2. <clears throat> I got a <clears throat> phone call and asked me what that is, and I said I would ask y'all, what is it and what does it do? Well, this is a, is a lifter that we, we need to use uh, for, for the cherry's office. It's Ms. Fern. It's a scissor lifter. It's a scissor lift. Essentially, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a square, uh, and it rises and closes or it goes up and down. And the reason it calls it scissors is because it looks like a scissor when it goes up and it comes well, back why down. Do we use, why, why are we renting it? So, the question, and sure. the purpose uh, for, the, uh, for, for the purchase, Mr. Amesqua? Uh, I need to go back to you, Mr. Guerra. Uh, I am not sure what is it uh, and purpose of this. Uh, of I'll this, get you that this open. Thank you, Mr. Ernesto. I'll get you that information, Ms. Uh, McClarty. So we do need a, a, a motion. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Three, requesting approval to purchase equipment supplies to maintain and operate the lease. Willacy County Detention Facility located at 1600 South Buffalo, Raymondville, Texas, through Omnia Partners Cooperative, a world vendor, WW Lake Granger, in the amount of $36,974 with 32 cents, with authority for the Hidalgo County Sheriff's to sign any and all required documentation. Recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 33J for Auditor's Office, one, requesting approval to enter into a three year subscription with Debt Book. For accounting and reporting of leases to comply with GASB statement number 87 through Hidalgo County's membership with Omnia Partners Cooperative in the total amount of 129000 I recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. That's all I have. Thank you, Judge Commissioner. Thank you. Judge Commissioners, uh, item 24A, 1, 2, and 3, there's no action or discussion this week. Item 25A. Uh, uh, one, there is no specific action or action to be taken this week. 25B, no action, and 25C, no action. We do have closed session. Pursuant to Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, we'll be retiring to closed session, session to discuss items listed in Code Section 551.071, .072, .074, .075, .077, .078, .079, .078, .079, .078, .079, .078, .079, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078, .078,
So moved. Motion. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay, and then we have the claim of uh, Serlene Hernandez de Rios, Judge Commissioner, I accept my authority to make an offer in the amount of $153.66. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And uh, the item I, claim, uh, I'm sorry, J, claim of Edward Loredo. Uh, we will take action on this. I'm asking the court uh, for settlement authority to make uh, an offer in the amount of $1,322.27. So moved. Check it. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioner, I'd like to return back to item 27A. Uh, there is no action to be taken. Item 27B, there is no action to be taken as well for the record. And uh, there is uh, no need to go back to closed session, so there is no action on item 29. And item 30, uh, there is no action to be taken uh, on that item as well. Judge Commissioners, before adjournment, our next court session is October 17th, and that will be a, that will be a morning session, 9.30 Drainage District and 10 a.m. Commissioner's Court. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you.